Hey everyone, my name is Aoife and I'm headlining the You So Smooth Aoife and Concert that's coming to the Fringe World Festival in January and February of 2022. Welcome to the Never Learn Choreography Tutorial. Now before I begin, I would like to acknowledge that I am standing on Wajak Nungar Buja and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Let's get on to the video. All right, guys, let's get dancing. Before we start, make sure that you are in an area that allows you space to dance. The choreography for this song in particular is very contemporary based. If you check out my music video for my song, Never Learn, you will be able to see the kind of flavor we are trying to bring into this song. You should also take a few minutes to warm up and stretch so as to not cause any injuries. Another important thing to have nearby is a bottle of water. Stay well and hydrated and listen to your body. Feel free to pause the video whenever you want to get a drink. You'll have access to this video at any time and I'll be running through the choreography step by step. So there's no rush. With that being said, let's begin. So our first position starts off in second with our feet and body parallel to the front. If you listen to the music carefully, the choreography starts on the counts 7, 8. So let's keep that in mind. We push our right hand forward until it is fully straight, then do the same with our left hand. We do the same motion, but instead of doing it to the front, we do it downwards, right, left. Let's do that again. But this time, let's add a breath. As we push our hands forward, we breathe in, which gets us to look up, which will help with the intensity when we go downwards with our upper body following like so. Then, this propels us to the next move, which is what I call a windmill. The right arm creates two circling motions whilst our right leg kicks forward, kind of like digging dry soil or sand with your heels. What does the left hand do, you ask? The left hand rests on your supporting left leg because y'all are gonna need that support for the rest of the dance. After that, you face the front with your arms crossed, forming an X to the front. This is a quick movement because it is a rebounding motion. We rebound to have our hands circle over to grab either ends of your top. Or ladies, if you are rocking that sports bra, or guys without their shirts on learning this dance, place closed fists on your pelvic bones and pretend to be holding a shirt. Your right hand, still holding onto your shirt, pulls across to the right. This is repeated with your left side, then onto the right. You do three of these in total. This movement was inspired by movements when you are with your loved one or partner and you both get into a heated argument where you are trying not to rip each other's hair out. So you expel your anger in other ways, such as like scratching your head or in this case, pulling your shirt. So this is the moment where it's best for you to really show that aggression and passion. So while you are pulling your shirt, you use the same coordinating leg to bend inward, like so. From there, your body is currently angled to the front le left corner. What we want to do is immediately switch to the right front corner. Uh, so up on releve and at the same time, your arms are on a diagonal, with your right hand higher than the left. We switch it up by landing the previously raised leg and bring the left arm up, right arm down to face the other diagonal. You don't stay long in this position, so you drop your left arm to your side and bend with your legs as close together as possible, like so. This movement only lasts for half a second because the next move is very abstract. I call it the scream, just like the painting. In your bent position, you, your rib cage leads your body upward, just like what I did just then, causing your spine to concave. Both your hands rest on your neck. There is no added pressure. The next move is to contract our spine the opposite way, which should be relieving to your back after just done that. Your arms follow the curve of your spine and lightly rests on your knees. Again, no added pressure. 
Majority of these movements are cued by the larynx, so each step must be articulated. From this position, we stand straight up facing the right front corner. We wrap our right arm around our head. As the wrap finishes, we look to our right shoulder, then snap to face the front. Keeping our gaze to the front and body on the right corner, we kick our pointed left foot forward in, then land the pointed foot to the side. Kind of like a half turn out. When the foot lands the front, your left arm goes straight out with your hand bent. I promise we are nearly halfway. So from here, we bend our left leg in as our left arm sweep through. We do this twice. On the second time, we land our left foot to twist facing the front. The series of movements are very quick. Once we've landed the foot, we cross our arms again, but our hands are open this time while stepping our right foot in. Like so. Our arms separate and we lead with our toe, heel, toe. The last toe becomes turned out and we look to our right side as we do this. Then there is a half second pause before we do a little flap with our hands, like this. From here we step out together with our arms out and our right hip leading. Then the left hip leads the next movement that throws our arms up, palms facing inwards. Then to finish off the first half of the chorus, we hip thrust inwards three and a half times as our arms come down. So one and two, three and a half. All right, good job everyone. We've officially made it to the halfway mark. Let's learn the second half. Welcome back everyone for the second half of the course. You've all done such a good job of learning the first half. We're going to run through that again later, but now let's learn the second half. So let's go from the wrap around just before the second chorus, okay? So wrap around, head, look right, snap to the front, kick, kick, sweep, sweep, cross toe, heel, toe, flap, gather up, dig, two, three, four. Now earlier, I said that there were three and a half thrusts. So let's go from gather up, now dig, two, three and a half. You use the last thrust as momentum to push up. You are leaning slightly to the right with your hands in a balanced scale position kind of thing. That's where I took the inspiration from. Your right foot is hovering in front, ready for you to land and step on it like so. From here, you push all the way off your right foot onto your left and your arms circle over to bring it down to the same position as before. Then you push again, but your arms circle around and this time you push off to the next movement. You push off with your right leg up and bent. You land your right leg as you cross and step your left leg in to face your left side. This next movement is slightly challenging as you really need to engage your abdominal muscles and balance. This is why it is so important for you to land facing the side and start stable. With your arms in a running man position, what you do is swing your right leg forward and your arms facing the opposite leg. Sweep the right leg back, raising your heels, then swing forward again with your heels up so that you can bend your legs inwards to do a half layout. Let's do this again. So swing your right leg forward, back, forward, and lay out. Now you come out of that by doing three steps. One, two, three, then swipe your arms to go to the other side with your left leg bent. Then you take another two steps. So swing around, one, two, bring your left leg in front of you and bend it to form this statuesque look. While your left leg goes in, your left arm circles over and your right leg goes straight up. Your gaze follows your right arm like so. We are almost done. From here, you take four small steps, starting with your right. And one, two, three, four. 
From here, your hands, head, and hips move together. You don't change your shape. This is one of my favorite shapes as it looks so cool in my opinion. Your hand flattens down to point to the right and your right hip raises. Then do this again with your left side. It's so hard balancing in this position, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> so then we pivot for our body to face the right front corner and our face looks to the front. As we do this, our hands open up with the right palm facing outward and your left palm facing in. We put our hands around the area of our face. Our right thumb lightly touches the tip of your forehead and our left thumb lightly touches the tip of our chin. Like so. This happens when we pivot. So I'm going to turn back and over up, pivot. Correct. I like to call the next movement the standing worm. Without leaving our hands out of place, we do three spinal rolls. One, two, three. Then we add another roll, except this one's more circular. So we circle around, then we step forward to finish. So we do that again. Roll, two, three, step out. And you've done it. You've learned the full chorus of Never Learn. Congratulations. Have a drink. And we're going to run through it again from the beginning, connecting the first and second half together. Good job, everyone. I've done this a few times. Okay, everyone, you've all done such an amazing job of learning the full Never Learn Chorus. So let's run it from the beginning up until the end. So we start with our feet shoulder width apart, and remember we go on counts seven, eight. So ready? Five, six, push, push, down, down. Put left hand on supporting leg, windmill, windmill. Cross, rebound, over, tug your shirt. Five, six. Seven, up on eight. Land the foot and arm switch. Bring your right foot in while putting your left arm down. Scream, contract, wrap around, look over right shoulder, snap to the front. Kick in, kick, sweep, sweep, cross, toe, heel, toe, weight, flap, gather, up, one, two, three. Now remember there's a half dig to push up and down, up, down, up, step, in, swing forward, back, forward, lay out, step, two, three, to the other side, step, two, three, left arm circles, right arm up, step, one, two, three, four, right, left, pivot to the front, right corner with hands placed, scroll, two, three, circle round, and step out. Good job. Let's run that again. Okay, let's so reset. reset. And five, six, push, push, down, down, windmill, windmill, cross, rebound. Five, six, seven, up on eight, land, down, scream, contract, wrap around, look over right, snap to the front, kick, kick, sweep, sweep, cross, toe, heel, toe, flap, gather, up, dig, two, three, four, down, circle, down, out, step, in, and front, back, front, out, step, two, three, swing, step, two, circle, over, up, step, two, three, four, right, left, pivot, and roll, two, three, circle, round, step, out. Good job. You can see my balance faltering a little bit in that statuesque look. Good job, everyone. I think everyone got that. So let's start again. Let's run that a little faster this time. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down two, scream, contract, over and da da da. One, two, cross. One, two, three, flap. One, two, dig. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and over. One, two, three, four, right, left, pivot, roll. Two, three, circle round, step out. Good job, everyone. Thank you all so much for bearing with me. I am not the best at articulating my choreography,、um, but this song and this dance means so much to me, and. I couldn't be more grateful to have this opportunity. Now go out there and dance your heart out. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I stay. I may.